peace, higher powers. You now tuned in to Psychology with Chief Sabi Indigenous. In this episode, um, this segment, we're going to be dropping the right knowledge and jewels about soul searching. So, what is the soul? On the macrocosm, remember, macro means greater, micro means lesser, but it's really perspective what's greater or what's lesser. You know what I'm saying? So we could say bigger or smaller because greater and lesser are denotations of, you know, like, we're going to get straight in. Y'all know. Y'all know I get sidetracked quick. So what is the soul? Point one is what is the soul? On a macrocosm, the soul is the sun. On the macrocosm, the soul is the sun. Also on the macrocosm, the soul is the collective consciousness. The soul is the collective consciousness. Now, on the microcosm, the soul is that inner part of man, woman, and child. But we're talking about adults here. The soul, the S-O-L, wait, and let me make that clear. I'm saying S-O-L. I'm not saying putting the U in there. Because the U denotes under or unknown. So we take the U out of soul and say S-O-L. Soul. So in the microcosm, the soul is what they misnomer S-O-U-L, but it's really S-O-L. And that's the part of us that is one with the sun. See, when we soul walk, which is soul, soul searching... When we do our solar walk, which is walking under the sun on the soles of our feet, you know, the SOL of our feet. When we do this, we are all in perfect unity. We are all one upon the soul. We are all one soul. That, that sun is where souls go to be recycled, to be purified, to, meet, to be made great again. Are you with me, higher powers? Now, number two is what is soul searching? Soul searching is seeking that part of yourself that you know not of. Soul searching is seeking that part of self which you know not of. Now, it's more than just seeking out knowledge, seeking out wisdom, seeking out guidance. Because we don't only have spiritual guides, we have solar guides, solar guides. I am a solar guide. I am a spiritual guide. Now, when we go soul searching, we're looking for that part of us that we don't know. Other humans are, are kindred souls. You ever heard the term twin flames or kindred spirit? Well, I call them I call them twin souls, kindred souls. We're gonna keep we're gonna get more back onto that. How does one soul search? One soul searches. This is um point three, by the way. One soul searches by leaving their comfort zone. You soul search by leaving your comfort zone. What is your comfort zone? Religion, your um, indoctrinated educational systems, um, the spookisms and um, and um, the spookisms and what do you call them? Conspiracies and um, superstitions that your family places upon you as a child. Um, this is how you soul the search. This is how you soul our search. By leaving your comfort zone and stepping out into the unknown, into the void. Seeking right knowledge, right guidance, right understanding, right intellect, right science. Now, the next point is quiet reflection. Quiet reflection is something that is hard to be found in this day and age. I mean, like, there's, there's not really anyone who, quiet, who quietly reflects anymore. 
We're distracted by social media. We're distracted by television. We're distracted by other people, other souls. See, before you can truly find your soul or mate or mates or even embark on a path of soul or searching or soul searching, soul seeking, you have to seek quiet reflection. You have to seek quiet reflection. Where do you find quiet reflection at? In that inside that inner wilderness. See, we are ancients. We are ancients reborn. We are ancients reborn. This is the revitalization. The LFTOM is the revitalization of ancient dynasties. The ancient dynasties are found right inside. The same place we seek the most high, right inside. The same place we seek right guidance, right knowledge from. Why do you think I call myself I am you Indian? Because I am you Indian. You are me Indian. Food for me is food for you Indian. Truth for me is truth for you. There's only two things in existence and that's truth and falsehood. There's no in between. Now, the next point is right guidance. Right guidance. Here in this day and age, especially now since the crown virus is going on, everybody, everybody is armchair philosophers. Everybody has a piece of information that they've pieced pieced together from other schools of thoughts and other traditions, eastern traditions, western traditions, northern traditions, and southern traditions. But right guidance comes from where? From the most high. Right guidance comes from the most high. He gives right guidance to certain people who are called prophets. If y'all haven't woken up to the fact that there's prophets walking around in this day and age, you need to wake the you need to wake up. Right guidance. Right guidance is is found within what? Culture. Culture, emphasized on the first four letters, culture. It's where you find your right guidance at, seeking the culture, going back to how the ancients live, how the ancients thought, how the ancients talk, how the ancients walk, how the ancients saw things. Now, where are the ancients located at? Where is the right guidance located at? Where can you find... The information, the guidance, the stuff you've been seeking for. That 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 what your mind is searching for on the on the on the in the halls of YouTube, on different podcasts, on Instagram, on Facebook posts. What are you searching for? Where can it be found? It can be found right inside of your body. Through what? Ancestral DNA. That brings us to the next point. Ancestral DNA, code name, junk DNA. See, they know about our ancestral DNA. They studied the elephants. They studied the elephants. They studied the birds. They studied the the tortoises, the turtles. They studied the alligators. They studied studied the hyenas. They They studied the lions. They studied the hippos. Those are all prime examples of ancestral DNA, of ancestral memory. Ancestral DNA, code name junk DNA, is your ancestral memory. It must be activated. How do you activate it? By coming in contact with someone who has already had their DNA activated. People don't know, but this crown virus is activating your DNA. That's the cause of social distancing. This crown virus is activating your DNA. Everyone will catch the crown virus. If you're not genetically, if you're not genetically fit, you will die from the crown virus. If you are genetically pure, you will heal from the and, and change and be go through genetical evolution. Genetical evolution. Or I should say a genetical re-evolution because it's just waking up. It's just a reawakening, a reactivating, an activating of our ancestral DNA, code name junk DNA. Now, where does ancestral DNA come from? The ancients. It comes from the ancients. 
Who are the ancients? The ancestors. We like to call them the ancestors, but it's the ancients, the ancient ones. The ancient ones. Now, the ancients are the makers, owners, rulers, and the key holders of all civilization, of all building techniques. Both the spiritual building, the mental building, the physical building. We are master builders. The ancients were the master builders. The master builders can reawaken. The ancients do reawaken right inside right inside of us, pardon self. That brings us to the next point. Reincarnation. That's what it's called. When the ancients reawaken inside yourself. It's called reincarnation. Now, remember the topic of this build is soul search. And we already broke down what is the soul, how do you soul search, what is soul search, inquire, reflection, right right guidance, ancestral DNA, code name, junk DNA, the ancients. Man, we're on reincarnation. I know y'all like Chief Sabi. How do you reincarnate when you when you haven't died? People are dying that's never died before. Who said that? Trump? They used that uh, on Facebook. They they made it. Uh, it's like an inside joke. People post that. They're, they're talking about me, though. They say people who died who've never died before. I died and I never died before. They like Chief Sabi. How, how does that happen? How does one die but yet doesn't die? We'll get more on that later, but after the death comes what? The reincarnation. The reincarnation of self. So you must kill your ego. Your ego. That part of you that wants to be that I. That I, which is self. The ego is self. You got to kill yourself. Suicide. Suicide bomber. You got to kill yourself. Not in the physical you already mentally dead, so you got to reincarnate mentally. You got to be born mentally. You got to go from the zero to the one to the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to be born at the nine. Now, how does one reincarnate after suffering from a mental death, spiritual death, hell, maybe even a physical death? By revelation. What is a revelation? Revelation is right knowledge and right guidance from a master teacher. Master teacher is someone who has it in them, their innate ability to activate your DNA. Mine's been activated. Or I came in contact with many master teachers. I came in contact with many angels, many higher deities. Now I'm walking with the most higher power. Which is the creator, owner, ruler of the whole entire everything. No spookism. No spookism. I'm walking with the most high. All I do is take a step and he meets me. One step and he meets me. A lot of us are scared to take the step. A lot of us are stuck in our altered reality. We're living a life of altered carbon. Our carbon has been altered. Our DNA has been altered. We are now genetically modified organisms within ourselves. We have became genetically modified organisms. Wouldn't you like to be brought back to your original self? Wouldn't you like right knowledge and right guidance? Wouldn't you like to lead with the real leader? Someone who really cares? How many people are struggling with addiction? Struggling with um suicidal thoughts, struggling with loneliness, struggling struggling with unhappiness, struggling with pain, struggling with grief, struggling with doubt, fear, etc. How many people are experiencing the lower self right now as we speak? It's free. It's free to get activated. Anyone trying to sell you knowledge? Anyone trying to sell you readings? Anyone trying to sell you your chart? Anyone trying to sell you any kind of information is no good. Nothing is for sale. It's never been for sale at the Hive. At the Indigenous Realist Hive, we've always brought right information for free. For free. People bless us with donations and it's all praises due to the Most High. That's the Most High blessing me with a donation, not you. Not you. All praises due to the Most High. Now, 
after the revelation comes what? The revolution. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The revolution will not be televised. Uh-oh. Chief Sabian Indigenous is now getting off of YouTube. Straight podcast. Uh-oh. Chief Sabian Indigenous is really meeting up and building with people in real life, face-to-face. LFTOM at 200 and plus members. We on the rise. Like, we on the rise. We are the revitalization of an ancient dynasty. We are the ancients reincarnated. Whether certain people accept it or not, there's new members coming every day, whether people accept it or not. Now, revolution. What is the revolution? The revolution has nothing to do with warring with the government. Uh Uh-oh. Fucked your head up with that one right. The revolution has nothing to do with warring with the government. The revolution is about a revolution process right there within yourself. They say the earth revolves around the, the sun, and we know that's a lie. We know we're on an infinite plane. The earth doesn't revolve. The sun revolves over and spirals down and spirals upwards over and above the plans. And there's more than one sun. There's more than one sun. We all know that, right? I have podcasts coming here soon about those. I do this shit all day. I do it in my sleep. Now, the revolution comes after the revelation because the revolution is saying, hey, I've received right knowledge that I'm not living right, that I'm not eating right, that I'm not drinking right, that I'm not thinking right, that I'm not breathing right. We're not even breathing right. Come on, y'all. Come get some right knowledge. You're not even breathing right. That's why you suffer from asthma. You suffer from all of these diseases because of mucus. Dr. Sabi, my spiritual father, told us that. My spiritual father told us that. Crown virus, etc. HIV, etc. Herpes, etc. Gonorrhea, chlamydia. Um, all that shit. It's from what? Mucus. There's only one cause of disease and that's mucus. In a poison mind, a swine mind. Check out the last bill from yesterday about swine mind. Now, after the revolution, we start the process of what? Refining ourself. That's the revolution. Refining one's self. And I'm going to have all the points in the description, you all. All the points will be in the description, you all, as usual. Refining one's self. How does one refine ourself? Well, this build is about soul large searching. That's the process. The process is the soul search. The process is the soul search through through spiritual masonry, through spiritual building. That's how we refine ourselves. That's how we purify. Refining is purifying. Just look at refining. Refining is purifying. You know, oil refineries. You know, we are God's jewels. A lot of us have become secret atheists or accidental atheists. We're going to build on that too in the future. I'm going to drop a couple podcasts today because it's a beautiful day. Y'all hear the birds? Watch this. Y'all going to stay hoodwinked? Y'all going to stay bird boxed, hoodwinked, and blindfolded or what? Y'all ready to build or what? Now, we refine oneself because what? We're getting ourselves ready to be in contact, to come in contact with who? It brings us to the next point. Like-minded individuals. No one wants somebody with a poisonous mind. We don't want nobody with a poisonous mind. No one wants to build with someone with a poison mind. Higher self don't build with lower self, Period. Higher self does not build with lower self, period. Only someone who has has agreed to start refining oneself can build with the most high. You know what I'm saying? The 
ego. The ego is what stops us. Like-minded individuals have already did away with the ego. We know to lead doesn't mean you're leading followers. You lead other leaders because other leaders unite behind you, not followers. I don't want no damn followers for the LFTOM. Not in my culture. Not in the culture at ABC Fit. No way. No followers. I need leaders. I want the leaders. If you ain't a leader, I can't build with you. If you ain't a leader, I can't build with you. If you're a follower, I can't build with you. All you can do is follow. That's for Instagram. We're using real life principles, real life applications. Now, when you get in, when you come home to the culture, when you've started embark, when you've embarked on that journey of refining self, and you come in contact with a like-minded individual, when you come in contact with a real look, when a student is ready, the teacher will appear. When a student is ready. When a master student is ready, the master teacher will appear. I'm a master student first, master teacher second. Always. Always. Just because I'm a master teacher doesn't mean that another master teacher couldn't teach me. That's always. That's period. Now, when you when you embark on that journey and you come into you come home to the culture and and you surround yourself with like-minded individuals, you begin to what? Here goes the next point. Creating your own reality. Creating your own reality. Not someone else's. Not living in someone else's reality. Society as we see it today is someone else's reality. That's someone else's creation. Someone else's mind. We're living in someone else's mind frame. Just like you got to frame a house, you got to frame a civilization. And it comes from the mind. You see it. You visualize it first. You see it and you visualize it first. So how do we create our own reality? We surround ourselves by like-minded individuals and we put our economic power together. We put our political power together. We put our social Media and our social power together. We put our physical body and our physical power together in unity to accomplish goals. To build physically, spiritually, and mentally. We do solar builds. We have solar builds. Now... When you start creating your own reality naturally, 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 you'll find yourself surrounded by your soulmates. You'll find yourself, you'll find your soulmate being drawn to you. That's the last point of the segment, too, by the way, finding one's soulmates. And I say it plural because we get it confused in our minds that your soulmate has something to do with a relationship, has something to do with sex, has something to do with love. It has everything to do with love. Not something to do with love. Your soulmate. Soulmate is people who have kindred spirits. Kindred souls. Kindred like minds. Who walk that same soul journey. That same soul path. We all tapped into that same hive mind. That same hive consciousness. create our own solar realities your soulmate is waiting on you that perfect person them perfect people who you want to surround yourself with you know you 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 don't like your neighbors i speak on it a lot that we are surrounded by strangers there is no community of self soulmates have a community of self peace higher powers that's the end of this segment man i love you all This is a sublime bill from Master Chief, Sabi Indigenous, the realist, the noble, the chief. I love you all. Peace.